A couple of years ago, when Lon Safko broke his ankle, he became frustrated by not being able to turn on a light or change the channel on the television. That inability to reach out and touch a switch prompted him to create a computer system that responds to verbal commands. Two. One. Return. Four. Return. One. Return. So far I've found that the capabilities are only limited to what my imagination has been able to come up with. Uh, right now there's uh, environmental control, anything electric, on and off, televisions, lights, radios, uh, turn your blinds on, control your heating, your air conditioning, uh, a small air conditioner, a coffee pot, just about anything can be controlled with the voice activation. The system also works on an FM frequency, which allows the user the ability to give commands from as far away as 250 feet. And there it is. One such system is already in use in the Yakima area, and the idea is one Lon thinks may become very popular, but he shies away from the suggestion that he's doing it as a money-making venture. Lon just wants the word out about the voice-activated system so that the handicapped can live more independent and productive lives. I really want to give a quadriplegic or someone who's paralyzed the ability to uh, do accounting. I'm working on a voice-activated word processor right now to to give these uh, quadriplegics the ability to write a book, type a letter, just by speaking to the computer. The system is relatively inexpensive. Everything needed to run a household costs about $3,000. This system also includes mind exercises and games. Lon's currently working on a system where the computer will read to its owner. You only have to ask it to. Reporting for News Center, I'm Kim Antipanko.